Young, innovative, and growing are three words to describe the University of Calgary, one of the major universities of Canada that receives far less credit than it is due. So, for our first ever University Spotlight, we want to help you learn about the University of Calgary, the flagship university of the home city of Canadian University Insiders, and show you how great the University of Calgary really is. For a preface, it sits comfortably as the 188th best university in the world, according to the CWR for the year of 2019 to 2020. But rankings alone can be deceiving, so we want to get into the real deal and show you the coverage the University of Calgary really deserves. With the defining words of Mohoile Tugam Swa serving as its motto, meaning in Gaelic, I will lift up my eyes, the University of Calgary has time and time again punched above its weight class and has proven that it is more than capable in providing quality education to all of its students. Therefore, the University of Calgary is ranked by Maclean's as Canada's 11th best university by reputation and 6th best for its research intensivity. Founded in 1966 after splitting away from the pre-existing University of Alberta system, the University of Calgary is one of the youngest universities in Canada. It is widely known as a primarily undergraduate quote-unquote commuter school, meaning a university where the majority of students commute to school and are local, rather than coming from outside of the local area to attend and live on campus. Because of this, there are a lot of misconceptions floating around in the post-secondary world about the idea that public commuter universities are inferior to primarily residential ones. This widely spread misconception comes up time and time again and mostly because of how post-secondary works in the United States and the prevalence of the thought of the quote-unquote elite private university. This stigma, however, is inapplicable to Canada as all of the top universities are in fact public and that people coming from outside to attend a university does not necessarily make it automatically superior academically to primarily commuter schools. And even if rankings still matter, as stated before, the university still boasts the position of being the sixth most research intensive university in Canada, high rankings in other fields such as engineering, business, and the biological sciences, among others, high first year student satisfaction at 78%, and the benefit of being located in the fifth most livable city in the entire world. This means that as a student, you will enjoy a generally high quality of life, helped infinitely by Calgary's young vibrancy and design, the most sunny days of any major Canadian city, and the incredible benefit of being only one hour away from the Canadian Rocky Mountains for all the hiking and photo shoots you could want. Otherwise, the University of Calgary consists of five campuses, the premier campus being the main campus, which serves as home to 11 of the university's 14 faculties and as the heart of the university. It is located in the northwest quadrant of Calgary. The other four City of Calgary-based campuses are home to various other faculties, namely medicine, veterinary medicine, public policy, and so on, all of which are post-undergrad level programs. An interesting, an interesting side note is the existence of the University of Calgary's international campus. In 2007, the University of Calgary opened up its very first overseas operation in Doha, Qatar, educating students in its CASN, being the Canadian Association of Schools in Nursing's accredited bachelor's and master's programs in nursing. Now moving on to the university's programs themselves. As of the 2020 to 2021 cycle, the University of Calgary currently offers over 250 unique programs, of which around 40% are undergraduate, aka bachelor's degree programs. In these programs, the two faculties offering the most degree programs are the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Science. The other fac the faculties offering undergraduate degrees are, alphabetically, the Cumming School of Medicine with four programs, the Faculty of Kinesiology also with four programs, Faculty of Nursing, the Faculty of Social Work, the Haskain School of Business with a whopping 16 programs, the Schulich School of Engineering with 8, and the Workland School of Education with 6, each specializing in their respective fields. If you're wanting to enroll in the university, as of 2020, the average tuition of student in undergrad will generally be around $3,529, not including tuition, books, or meals, and assuming you live off campus, which isn't factored in, and that you won't be studying under the Schulich School of Engineering or the Haskane School of Business, which both respectively charge higher tuition. So then with all that information, what stands out? As a general statement, the University of Calgary isn't going to be a top, top school for most programs. However, a lot of its degree programs are still extremely underrated. Here are some. Being located in Alberta, it is regarded as a premier school for those interested in working in the oil and gas and financial industries in Western Canada. Calgary also has the, Calgary also has the benefit of being the headquarters for plenty of companies if you're interested in working in commerce. You'll have plenty of opportunities to apply for co-op, internships, and jobs as a student in Calgary, and the benefit of having so many networking opportunities is not one that should be overlooked purely based on program prestige. 
Some of the USC's programs in the health sciences are also more than notable. For those on, on pre-med track, the university's Bachelor of Health Sciences is a research-focused bachelor's degree program offered by the Cumming School of Medicine that offers its students the choice between specializing in bioinformatics, the biomedical sciences, or health and society, and learning about how medicine and their respective specialty work together. The University of Calgary's Honor Neuroscience program functions similarly, though it is instead organized by the Faculty of Science. A very interesting side note for those wanting to know more about the Cumming School of Medicine's undergraduate medical education, aka the MD program, is that its program duration is in fact only three years long rather than four years, the only other one in Canada which is of that length other than that of Hamilton's McMaster University, which could be a positive or a negative depending, depending on your preferences. And while still on the topic of the health sciences, the University of Calgary's Bachelor of Nursing is also highly ranked in Canada yearly, standing at fifth place just under McMaster's and above McGill's. As for the physical sciences, the Schuller School of Engineering at the University of Calgary offers all of its undergraduate students a common first year exploring multiple disciplines in engineering, in addition to its common core, after which all of its students will apply internally to their major, which include but are not limited to mechanical engineering, oil and gas engineering, software engineering, civil engineering, and more, as well as many minors such as aerospace engineering, mechatronics, transport engineering, and so on. Finally, if you're thinking of becoming a teacher, you should definitely see. The School of Education provides flexible choices for those wanting to earn their B.Eds, including off-campus and dual-degree five-year options for those pursuing degrees from the Faculty of Arts, Science, and Kinesiology. And all in all, what is the takeaway? Note that your takeaway was that the University of Calgary is a great choice for those wanting to pick which university to attend. The lifestyle of the City of Calgary, coupled with the strong options the UFC provides for its students in all of its programs, should be more than enough for you to seriously consider attending the university. If you want to cover more about the University of Calgary or want to cover anything else you think is relevant, feel free to leave a, to leave a comment in the description, message our Instagram at Canadian University Insiders for one-on-one -on -one messaging, or to just reach out to us in any way available. Our website is available in the description if you want to learn more about our organization and if you want to subscribe to our weekly newsletter which goes out every Friday to get you in the loop. And with that being said, see you all next time.